The wind industry is a key part of our future energy mix. To help make it more viable, we need it to be as efficient as possible. Blade failures and blade inspections are a huge cost for the owner of a wind farm. To minimize failures and inspections, we need to understand the health of each blade. At Brawl and Care, we have built a system that can detect and locate blade failures. The system uses an electromechanical actuator, accelerometers and algorithms, which can be utilized in other industries, like aerospace and space, for non-destructive testing or permanent health monitoring. The structural health monitoring hardware consists of two parts. The first is an electromechanical actuator, and the second is an array of accelerometers. We would typically place the actuator inside the blade, approximately one-third of the way up from the blade root. The actuator consists of a coil or electromagnet, which taps a plunger onto the surface of the blade. On the Vestas V27, the blade was too small to place the actuator inside, so we mounted it on the outside of the blade. Here you can see the actuator mounted inside a waterproof cover. The actuator introduces mechanical energy into the blade which propagates through the structure. The vibrations are picked up by an array of accelerometers mounted along the blade. Here is the contour of the blade. The green dot is the actuator, and the red dots are accelerometers. Nine sensors were mounted on the surface of the blade, using glue covered with silicon. The cables from the sensors run towards the trailing edge of the blade and then along the trailing edge to the data acquisition system, which is mounted inside the spinner. The data acquisition system controls the actuator and collects the vibration signals from the sensors. It is placed inside a waterproof box. We will demonstrate the system in action on a small prototype, which is equipped in a similar way to the Vestas V27 blade. The blade is made of two shells, connected by a number of bolts. By loosening and tightening the bolts, it is possible to model damage of varying size and location along the blade. We can also simulate the progression of the damage. We mounted seven accelerometers on the trailing edge and seven accelerometers on the leading edge of the blade. All the bolts are tightened so we start the actuator to create a reference state for the blade. We then test this reference state. Next we create some damage by loosening some bolts. We start the system to check for the damage. You can clearly see that the damage is immediately detected. We stop the test and try to localize the damage. The algorithm not only detects the damage, but also shows where it is on the blade. We demonstrate the efficiency of the system by monitoring a single blade of a Vestas V27 wind turbine. To demonstrate the system on a Vestas V27, we introduced artificial damage to the blade. We created an opening along the trailing edge, which represents the typical type of damage found on many wind turbine blades. We started with a 15 cm opening. The wind turbine was operated with this defect for two weeks, running different regimes and experiencing different weather conditions. Analyzing the data collected during this period, we can clearly see that the algorithm was able to detect the damage, even without stopping the wind turbine. Then the crack was extended to 30 cm, and the wind turbine 
was operated for another two weeks. With the extended crack, we observed an increased damage index, demonstrating that the algorithm is also capable of following the progression of the damage. Finally, the damage was extended to 45 centimeters. Our structural health monitoring system has been proven in the field, where it can detect defects as small as a 15 cm crack of the trailing edge of a wind turbine blade. We believe the same approach could be applied to other similar structures, such as aircraft wings and fuselages.